Tonight, the mayor of Dallas has a message to Austin police officers. If you're thinking of retiring, don't do that. Instead, come work for us. Good evening. The message is Thank loud and us. clear from Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson to Austin police officers. We want and need you. Over the weekend, he sent out this tweet recruiting officers with APD who are thinking of retiring. That number keeps going up, according to the president of the Austin Police Retired Officers Association, Dennis Ferris. I think it's going to settle somewhere between 100 and 150. This comes days after the Austin City Council unanimously voted on Thursday to extend police salaries and benefits for officers if the current contract expires next month. Earlier this month, the council voted to go with a one-year extension of the current contract rather than accept the tentative four-year deal that former city manager Spencer Cronk announced before he was fired. In response, police union leaders said they would rather work with no contract than support a year-long deal. Ferris says he wouldn't be surprised if APD officers took the Dallas mayor up on his offer. And they're going to go where they're wanted. They're going to go where they get respect, where they feel like they're they're getting respect, and that's just simply not happening in Austin right now. When speaking with KXAN after council voted on the one-year extension, APD Chief Joseph Chacon said officer retention is a critical issue, but that this extension is a short-term fix to that. I think that it can make a difference in whether they want to stay or not. You know, if it works or not, that, re that remains to be seen. Austin Mayor Kirk Watson says extending salaries and benefits until a contract can be worked out sends a message to officers that the city cares about them and wants to come to an agreement. Sarah Alsha, KXAN News. With the number of officers dwindling, Ferris says it could take more than a decade for APD to get back to staffing levels that it had in 2020.